All right, in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating Mac OS Sierra version 10.12 running on an unsupported Mac. Now, at this point, um, this method only works on um, Macs that have the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M chipset. Uh, that is, of course, the MCP79 chipset. So that means, basically, any machine that's late 08 and newer um, will work with this uh, patch. Now, I'm not going to provide, uh, this is not a tutorial for this patch, and I will not provide uh, any links to this patch in this video, as it is not uh, suitable for public use at this point. However, this video is just to show you that it is indeed possible with some patches to get OS or Mac OS Sierra, at least the developer preview, um, running uh, on an unsupported Mac. So um, right here, we have a mid-2009 MacBook. Uh, this is a uh, model MacBook uh, 5,2. And this is not a supported Mac OS Sierra Mac. Um, this does have the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M chipset, uh, also known as the MCP79, um, but it is not supported by, El or by um, Sierra. So um, this does have a hard disk in it with a pre-patched copy uh, of um, Mac OS Sierra on it. And this patch, or these files that are patched in the install, uh, were worked on uh, both by myself and other people uh, in a Mac Rumors forum. So um, credit goes to them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this machine and uh, show you that it works. So it's going boot, booting up here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select the drive that it's on and it is now booting. So I'm just going to uh, leave the camera running just so you can see the full boot process. All right, so as you can see, the machine has just booted up and as you can see, is working perfectly. So um, let's go ahead into About This Mac and we can take a look at these specifications. So as you can see, it is indeed running Mac OS Sierra. Uh, like I said before, this is a mid-2009 MacBook. Uh, it's got the 2.13 GHz Core 2 Duo processor in it. Um, along with four gigabytes of 800 megahertz DDR2 memory. So, going to displays, you can see that the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M is fully detected and working. Um, go into the, well, storage doesn't really matter. Uh, memory, both slots are filled. And, yeah. So let's just go ahead into system report or system profiler, and we can see a little bit more information. So you can see that this is indeed a MacBook 5,2, which is not officially supported by Mac OS Sierra. If we go to graphics and displays, you can see that that's all working. Um, and the one thing that was uh, giving me quite some problems with this is the uh, was the USB controller. Uh, for some reason, or uh, actually I figured out why, um, but it originally was not being detected. Um, it would not detect any USB devices, including the keyboard and trackpad. So originally there was no way to use the machine. But after looking through some kicks, and this wasn't actually found by me, this was found by somebody else, but I should have found it. It was pretty obvious if I just looked a little bit. But in the Apple, or yeah, I think it was IO USB family, something like that. I can't exactly remember the name. 
actually there it is right here io usb host family dot kext um, some of the kexts inside here the info dot plus files um, excluded some of the uh, model identifiers of the unsupported Macs which caused the kexts uh, not to load properly on them so um, yeah um, after editing those kexts to uh, uh, with the uh, model numbers of the unsupported Macs it now works perfectly fine and of course I also had to edit uh, another file to actually let the OS boot uh, in the first place but uh, that is Mac OS Sierra running on the MacBook 5 comma 2 so now what I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and boot this on the uh, late 2008 MacBook uh, just to show you that it does work on other unsupported Macs than just the 2009 MacBook uh, so I'll be right back once the uh, MacBook Air is booted alright so as you can see Mac OS Sierra is now up and running on the late 2008 MacBook Air uh, you can see that this machine uh, is the model with the 1.6 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo CPU. Uh, of course, it's got 2 gigs of RAM, as all the original style MacBook Airs did. And once again, it has the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics card. Um, like I said, uh, this method still does not work on the earlier machines with the uh, Intel 965 chipset. Uh, just kernel panics on those for some reason. Uh, but that will work, will hopefully uh, be worked out uh, as time progresses. So, um, yeah. Um, another thing uh, on this machine that doesn't quite work as it should is the Wi Fi. Um, as you can see, when I click on it up there, it does not detect uh, the Wi Fi hardware whatsoever. Um, someone actually did come up with a fix for that. I have yet to try it. Uh, however, I will be doing so momentarily. But, um, yeah, as you can see, uh, Mac OS Sierra works perfectly on this machine as well. Um, we've got the multi-touch gestures, uh, as you would expect with this machine. So you can see um, by moving, uh, pinching in on the trackpad, we can get to launchpad. By using three fingers out, we can get to um, mission control. And of course, by going out, we can hide the windows. So all the uh, multi-touch gestures work perfectly fine on this machine. Uh, you can also see that the backlit keyboard works. Um, the uh, yeah, you can change the, the keyboard backlight like that, and that works. Uh, the audio also works as well. So, um, that is Mac OS Sierra running on an unsupported Mac, or actually uh, two of them in this video. Um, once again, I'll say this again just to make sure uh, people don't get confused. This is not a tutorial, this is not a release of any patches, um, but it is just a proof of concept that um, Mac OS Sierra can indeed be run on unsupported Macs. Um, I will got, keep you updated uh, when uh, either I or someone else writes an official patch uh, to get uh, this OS working on other machines or unsupported machines. Um, and that probably won't happen until it is functional on the 965 machines as well. However, if that ends up being harder than expected, um, we or I might release it uh, before support is added for those machines. But um, this was just a video showing Mac OS Sierra running on unsupported machines. So um, that is it, and it does indeed work. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.